we're going to make some homemade hamburger patties. I'm going to keep a bit of this for some uh, sauce. So I'm going to go one. Yeah, this is all going to be hamburgers. So one stitch, two stitch. You know what else we're going to do? plastic bowl and what we'll do is, I don't know if I should uh, hang on here because <laughs> So let's talk about the MMA for a second. Oh, congratulations to Golden State Warriors. Even though I grew up a Celtics fan, I really didn't watch much, or I don't watch it much anymore. But uh, yeah, congratulations. That's four. That's what five championship run, or uh, five championship games in eight years. Four championship titles. Well, that's pretty fucking good. Without ever having to go out and stack a team. LeBron can't say that, not can he? So how am I going to do this here? Okay, I'm going to take this knife. I'm going to go like this. I'm going to cut this. And this is going to get cooked right now for some nachos. Actually, I'm not even going to use it much because i got a lot of meat here. So I'm going to use this. I'm going to cook this up right now. This is nacho meat. Pour some nacho meat. Ah, shit. I thought I turned it down. And... Yeah, so a lot of people apparently think every champion in the UFC gets paid pay-per-view points. No, they do not. You need to sell 425000 in uh, buys to get that. The UFC averages about 200 to 230 <clears throat> Those numbers you can look up because ESPN has to release them to the public because they are a public, publicly traded organization or company which is owned by Disney and people buy into Disney. Dana White can tell you whatever he wants, but Dana White has actually told you, put asses in the seats, you get paid. Stipe went through this. This is why he gets 750K a fight. Um, Jones stopped selling fights when he got into all his trouble. So that's why he kind of stopped selling. That's why they bring in guys like Chael Sonnen to kind of boost some of these fights. So, what's this one? Shit, I don't know which ones are which. Okay, so, and that's why they bring in kind of to boost them up. But ESPN now owns all the rights for the fucking, uh, thing. what do you call Under, uh, viewer's choice, the UFC used to have to sell over a half million pay per view buys. Back then it wasn't so bad. It was kind of a little bit of money because they had Tito and Chuck fighting each other. They were doing about 600000 This is what I want you to pay attention to. About 600000 for pay-per-views. This is back before, you know, kind of everybody else stealing them, but the true people like ourselves that don't. Right? So, so that there's going in there. So I got some in there. So this is shoot. Alright, we'll do another one, I guess. This, and the rest is going to be here. Do this little section right here. But yeah, it's about putting asses in the seats, whether people want to realize it or not. If you don't believe me, you can look all this up on Bloody Elbow and Junkie. So you think what ESPN plans on doing, or was... Depending on how the numbers went, I think they were going to buy the USC. And really, I'm pretty sure that's what the intention was when they were starting doing all this. 
but oh, there's all our meat that's going in. The numbers aren't what they were told they were. Remember, Dana White tells you whatever he wants you to hear. And there's not a lot you can really say about it because he's going to tell you what he wants. There's a lot of gullible people in this world that believe everything Dana White says. Everything he says. Dana White's a fucking businessman. Oh, and what else they don't tell you is the USC is $3.6 billion in debt. Last year they borrowed $400 million. You go look that up on Bloody Elbow too. Um, so they're not the company you all think they are. They're in debt, like a lot of companies are. They borrow money to buy things. Now, they originally got bailed out by a bunch of uh, princes. I was going to say princesses, but princes and kings in Abu Dhabi. And that's why when Anderson Silva was there, that uh, it had that fight with Maya, that Dana White was so pissed off because he wouldn't punch out Dana, or I did punch the lights out of him, but Damian Maya kept pulling guard. I'm going to show you how we're going to do some of our mix up here. And Anderson really doesn't like to fight Brazilians. He's got a history of, if he doesn't like you, like Vitor Belfort, he will fight you. And you see what happened. So, have to ask yourself, why do you believe in the USC? Why do you believe everything that Dana White tells you? I don't, that's what I don't understand. Like, how many gullible people are there out there in the world? America was built on debt, people. It still is. Always will be. And that's what people don't want to accept is... That you get, I don't know. It's hard to explain, but people are one way, and because they're that one way, it's really hard to get to the bottom of the truth. So, yeah. And for the dude that's fucking arguing with me about how good Yuri is, dude couldn't fucking barely beat a 42-year-old. Let's start to be fucking honest here. You barely beat a 42-year-old. Let's be honest. Let's see, adding a little flavor here. Pull these out. I like using these because they actually taste pretty damn good. Oh, we got some crackers. He's got some Italian herbs in them, so we're gonna put a few of these in here. But yeah, I'm just saying. So, oh, we got Stanley Cup going on. That's some good shit. But yeah, we're going to make some fucking hamburgers. Keep them. Talk some sports, because I don't know what else to talk about anymore. The world's going nuts, obviously. Well, one thing I, I've been asked when I do videos, well, why don't I uh, ask you guys to like it up or... Leave comments or anything. I don't give a fuck if you do or you don't. To be straight, I really don't. I don't care if you sub or not. I just do these honestly, just to fucking talk. <laughs> talk shit sometimes. I don't mind talking about shit. But I'm usually right. And that's what people really don't like, especially Leaf fans. Because they're pretty delusional. They're in on every goalie, just so you know. Every goalie is going to be a free agent this year. They're in on apparently. So, if they don't sign Jack Campbell. Campbell sucks. That's why Sutter wouldn't play him ever. Can't convince Lee fans of that. I don't even know if you guys can see it or not. So we're going to use two eggs. It's about a pound and a half. So yeah, I don't know, man. MMA Guru versus Jesse on TRT. Who do you guys got? I got the Guru. who's young. You know, he's not like Lover. Forty-two. And if 
you guys don't believe me about the paper viewpoints, just go ask Michael Bisbee and I'll tell you. That's why he took the fight with GSP. He knew he wasn't going to win, but he also wanted to get fucking paid. He didn't get paid when he fought Dan Henderson for pay per view points. Basically, the only people that get pay per view points now is probably fucking Conor McGregor and maybe Nate Diaz. I know a lot of people are saying, oh no, Jorge, Jorge. Bullshit. Jorge ain't fucking shit. The guy's been, what, fighting for 15 years and now mysteriously. You're a star? You're not a fucking star. You're just another body. And I like Jorge, but he's not worth putting asses in the seats. A lot of events that they tell you are sold out, and Chael Son, he goes through this, aren't sold out. The event on the weekend that was in, uh, what do you call it, Singapore, didn't sell out people. You could actually see the fucking empty seats. Whenever they show it up, there's certain angles they wouldn't show on. But yeah, they don't sell. And when you don't sell out, chances are you uh, aren't putting a million fucking pay per view buys in there like some of you like to think. It doesn't work like that. That's not economics, that's not how it works. It's a big event. People are just bored with the UFC, I think, more than anything. They're bored with MMA in general. I like all of them. I like all sports, pretty much. So, let's start to be honest with ourselves here. The MMA world isn't what some think it is. Shit, I'm on a freezer bag. What was those new ones? Fuck, where did these ones come from? Fuck! Should have got some freezer bags. Why should you get me some freezer bites? So, oh, you almost forgot to check on your food. Oh, no, I didn't. So yeah, so I'm gonna make these burgers up. Let's get them over and done with now. What do you think? So, as you guys can see, the meat's in there. A couple eggs. A little filler, a little filler. That's what she called me. I mean, yeah, so that's about a quarter of what I chopped up. And I know, I know, I know, Don, you're all about safety. Fucking A, I am. Watch this, motherfuckers. I should have grabbed more of this meat. I'm actually kind of surprised. I think this was lean. I don't like using lean meat. It's all they fucking had, I think. I mean, all they had. In case kids are watching, don't do what I say or say what I say or say what I do. Just, unless it's cooking. I'll be honest with you. So this is all I'm doing. I'm gonna mix it all up nice and good here. Oh yeah, I'm gonna mix this shit. Mix it up. Mix it up. It's a... So last, no, two weeks ago, I grabbed some meat. And I didn't really look at the label. I just checked the date and the price. I was like, yeah, fuck, what a steal. And it turned out it was actually mixed with pork and uh, beef. And I didn't get it home until I started to, uh, or I didn't notice until I got it home. You're gonna make whoa, 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 Don, throwing your meat all over the floor. Ah. What are you saying, puppy love? They're trying to make like six to eight inch or six to eight inches, I wish. Six to eight inch or six to eight ounces of burgers. I'll show you one time. This there's not a lot of grease on this. These fucking things stick. I might only get about four burgers out of this. Give me five. So I'll probably have two tonight because I got some food in there. 
last night as well. So these are about six ounces, five ounces. I use the palm of my hand, I guess. I, I never weigh them. Come on now, weigh-ins are for who? Well, so six, six burgers. Fuck these things are falling off my hands. Fuck this shit. Probably have a piece of meat in my pocket now. Yeah, I just drove me nuts. So yeah, I got. I might be able to squeeze three out of this. Actually, you know what? So we're gonna put the burner on. So we got some nice wind going on here. I'll take you guys up. And that's that. Those are the burgers, two, four, seven of them. So let's go side and start the queue. So who's right? Me, DC, or Chael Sonnen? I say the 205 division in the UFC is very, very weak at this time. Where am I here? Very weak. Look at the wind here. Oh wow, it's starting to darken up too. As some of you know, I got chased by a tornado a few weeks back. All recorded? Yep, go we'll check it out. So, anyways, let's get this shit on the road. You guys can see. Ta da! Turn that off for a few minutes. Already 10 degrees. Uh, all right, you guys have a good one.